Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Locked here, and today I'm gonna make the particle tutorial I promised to make a long time ago. Like, a um, month ago. Yeah, a month ago. So let's open up After Effects and show you how I do it. So now, what we're gonna do is not make a new comp, I'm just gonna add some render here. Doing this just real quick here for you to actually get. So here we have a render, pretty bland. Let me actually add a song. A song. Or is that here? Cannot find it. Oh, there you go. So, yeah, my raw render looks pretty weird. Don't blame me out of it. So now that now that we have this, I'm gonna make a new solid called VG <laughs> just for the background. Then we're just gonna make a new solid. I'll just call it smoke just for the thing. Let's set a trap code form. Base form. I'd like to put that to four thousand. Every time four thousand. Disperse, just put that on 50. Nobody actually cares about that. Particle cloud that size 100. Oof. Fasty. Fun. There you got your amazing smoke. JK. Just gonna make it a tad better. 50. 165, 15, and every single one of these should help us get a nicer result with 15. Maybe like 8,000. This. Sorry, I'm just. Put it up at 800. 8,000. 8,000. 8,000. Yeah, it looks better. 200. 200 on the size, and boom. There we go. Opacity, maybe 0.7. Would do better. Then add a caution blur. This one. 22. Is what I like to do. Vector blur. CC vector blur. And go for direction fading. 100. Poof, you've got an ugly result. Well, I guess I could like this. If we put blur. 12. Add 
add some resolutions. Like 2.5. Okay, I think I just ruined it, but who cares? There we have our smoke transform. Just put the scale 100 to 110. It won't show any of those orders. Now what we're going to do is the particles. I like to use quite a lot. Well, I don't use them a lot anymore, but I used to use them a lot. If you get what I mean. We'll do with, it with trap code particular and put the velocity to two, 750. Well, yeah, that's it. That should definitely be it. Well, maybe a little lower, 450. Yeah, 450. Ooh. Particles 50 or 25, depends on what you like. I'm just gonna put 25. Particle, put it to your color. What you like is this, and then box system continuously. Now, what you're gonna see real quick is that we don't need this. God, that and Shot. I'd say, but you'll see soon. You'll see soon. Point zero one. Uh, point zero five. Point zero three. Okay, that's a perfect one. Color for main eighty five. Oh my god! Let's look. Size of life. Extend this a bit. Take this. Then reverse it. Got it. Weird strategy to make particles, but I do it. <sighs> now that we have these weird particles going there, and you want to copy the camera Put it right over that. Suck them both, pre-compose it. Let's call this particular. Now we have it pre-composed. Relate, eh? Well, now what we'll do is actually go to rendering and add some motion blur because who doesn't like motion blur? Point five. Oh, that's not the motion blur. Okay, rendering. Motion blur, oh, there. Twenty. Any changing changing here for some reason, but okay. Well, still can expand. Put shading. Shadow let for main on. Shadow let for box on. Then when we have those on, go to shadow let settings. Put a frame where you can actually see some shadow let. Drag this back a bit, by the way, just to get it fully there. There we can see it. just distance. Let's see, there we go. Okay, that's a bit of shadow lit. Maybe put the opacity down to 25 or even lower. 5. Okay, that's a nice thing. Now I'll go to the camera and key for, not key for, time. Time reverse layer. 
Glenn Camp. Particular time. Time reverse layer. And now what we should have is particles that sync to the camera for every single frame except the first one that go inwards hey we're getting somewhere here oh boy now we're I'm gonna do is show you how I make the original ish particles I use nowadays a lot so make a solid Make it the color you want your particles to be. Just make this color now. You got it, I think, but just trust me. Let's wipe dots. Boom. Edge softness. Dots either shrink or grow. I like to put it on grow because that makes it look a little different. Now that it's 3D, it's somewhere here, like here. And maybe you could not move this. Somewhere like here. Now, if you want to make multiple of these, you can, but it's uh, it's actually pretty good, actually. Done that a lot of times. So let me do that now. Three D. And a uh, swipe dots. So put this somewhere around here. And I'm uh, just put these on a shrink. Copy the camera, put it over these, pre-compose these, and call it particles. I you know it might look weird, but add a CC vector blur. And it depends on how you like it. Nobody likes it this way. God, look at that. Ew. Just you. Like that. Direction fading. Always. I almost nearly always do direction fading. Because it just simply works. Like many settings. Well, what I'm gonna do this time is remove that in composition because it kinda looked bad with them both being the similar, similar thing. So I'm just gonna. No. I just did I just do top of this not 
What is going on? Copy this. God damn it, I'm tired. And put it to another direction here. Now we can just decompose them like this, I guess, I suppose. And with this technique, you can make a bunch of different particles. Bunch of different particles, I tell you. Now, let's just add another CC vector blur. For this type that direction center, you know. Just experiment with it, I always do. And yeah, that should almost be it for the tutorial because this tutorial also will tell you how to make a CC. You can also like these opacities with lower opacity just to get some swanky looks on it. I got some magic bullet looks here. Now what I like to do is just open it up and mess around with it. But because you're not me, you are expecting some this idiot who doesn't know how to make a CC or doesn't like experimenting. Just add a pop. Yeah, though. Rad exposure. Real rad one that comes out of here. That doesn't make even sense the coding. Or it just makes sense to some of the coloring like it's the opposite color of the color of the intro, like or you know, makes sense to color scheme. Next thing the light I'm just gonna take green like a but so a bit but not much cannot kind of get light flex in this one which is sad like real sad the shadow is a little darker the highlights a little brighter all that stuff then oh boy we as a Lovely, chromatic operation, and depending on the color of your intro, you're just gonna distort it by the green magenta thingy, or blue yellow if you have a blue or yellow intro, or if you have a blue intro, you can also do red cyan. I like that quite a lot, but we're not gonna do much. We're just gonna put this on um, point two five. Just for a little, little, little effect. Contrast. Point two five. Maybe point one five, depending on what you like. That. Just spam it with diffusion, okay? Just. Don't yourself in this process. By spamming it too much, you're just gonna end up having a crappy CC. This makes no absolutely no sense. Just remove it. And another one. Is it has a lot of glow, but a little grade. Like that star filter. And push put a real small end. Boost real down. The lens. I don't know which softness. Probably. Point seven. 
quality on 10. And then add your battle lens vignette, move it up. Ooh, not by the x axis, I meant by the y axis. Alright. Like so. Out. Well, I <coughs> then go to map. Oh, no, that's a regular gradient. A regular gradient, not a, uh, a grad exposure. Then put it on black. Fall off. Strength. That should. Make it a little better. Oh boy. I sure cannot do a CC two strip process. This will just completely destroy your intro if you're using color palettes like me. Just don't. Unless you're a cool dude goes by the mainstream and does all the same coloring you don't like th I don't like that okay just don't okay exposure compensation point one right here and then lens anamorphic layer put it on some random color you like just gonna put it out because I don't want it here Film negative. You no, never do that. Loot. They're on M low, something like that. My boy M low is cool. Post. Duo tone. Always do your duo tone. It's. Like. Um, if you you'd have to choose between doing your duo tone or your or your homework, do the duo tone. You're definitely not gonna regret it in later in life. Hashtag life advices with locked arts. Oh boy, add some renoiser. Sharpen it. JK don't just put it on 10 or something then add some lovely four-way color doesn't love this stuff just to get some of that exposure on it it's just the right you need it but I'm just not gonna do that yet add some telesign net you won't regret adding that telesign net because we're just gonna choose this and control C, control B. Toggle switches modes, soft light, boom. Just made it a lot worse. Oh boy, 25% opacity. Let me go to a frame where it's actually visible. See the difference. CCI advice I'm giving you is completely useless because I cannot do CCs. Like, I usually spend hours on my CCs just because I don't know how to do them. <laughs> like, uh, that's just too sad. Get rid of that to sign net. Maybe add a hue saturation or something. Saturation, put that up. You. Oh, you can get some psychogenic. Oh, that's hot. I'm just gonna stop doing that. You might. You still want to put your saturation up? Not that, that much though. Maybe like 150. Boy. Yeah, this looks pretty dank. 
and a pop, popid. It's popping. It's popping B. And then that's it. I ended up making almost a whole After Effects tutorial. Just add some CC Jaws. Oh boy. There, here. If you want to be original, you should just do something else that I'm doing right here because this advice is basically useless. Well, also you could change the loop from mlo to like slog to like blood bag or something. Blood bag is actually a decent one. I put it after my show. Ah, uh, there. Or, yeah, blood bag is a decent one, definitely. You should definitely use it sometimes. Well, depends on the situation you're on. And... I request you to do your own CCs, because I cannot do CCs, okay. Just okay. Well, maybe... I could do CCs if I could. I would be smart enough to just add some curves and contrast it and boom. That's a CC right there. Boy. That was the tutorial. Think. Bye.